Welcome back, everybody, to Llamascapes. We are on to day 116 of the speedrun account, and we are back to fishing, and there we have an interesting achievement. Uh, maxed, totally maxed, reputation in Minifos, tier 10 in each district. Um, yeah, this is something I don't actually think I finished on uh, good old comped account, so... Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting pickup there. Uh, just over here working on fishing, getting very close to having all of the fish that we need for 99 cooking banked. Um, I ended up burning through all of the catfish that I had available, and I'm, I realized, you know what, let's just go do a little bit more fishing uh, and then finish up the rest of our cooking. So that is the current plan. Started working on some construction and finally have enough credits to get the first piece of the outfit. Uh, I only have the plank box and the first upgrade, and the second upgrade would be pretty nice, uh, but I think I want to go for the full outfit first, so let's start with the hat. Oh, I, I don't have backpack space. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's start with the hat. Okay, there we have it. So uh, this is super useful um, once you get the full set bonus really is when it becomes useful, um, but there's an option to automatically remove uh, furniture after building it, uh, which is quite sick if you're doing traditional construction, um, but the really important stuff is increased build progress and chance to instantly finish repairs for construction contracts. Uh, also, uh, very easy teleports to estate agents to speed up construction contracts once it's done. So it's essentially just going to really speed up your XP per hour once you have the full set. I also did change up the preset a little bit. I know people get to asking about these presets a lot, so I thought I should show this off. Um, but really the idea is that I'm going to have to bank pretty regularly once I need planks. Um, but... Uh, especially given that I have a, a small beast of burden, uh, but I carry everything that I need on me for construction contracts. So, uh, Wilderness Sword to teleport to Edgeville, uh, runes to teleport to Varrock, uh, Earth runes to teleport to Lumbridge when you occasionally do get a Lumbridge shopkeeper uh, spot. It's a bit faster, otherwise you just use the Lodestone. And since the Lumbridge Lodestone is the only one you should be using, you can always just have it on right-click here. Um, then you have the plank box, of course, carries a ton of planks for you, a uh, giant stack of nails, um, of course, carrying like my statue collection bag on me, then the steel bars, white candles, and bolt of cloth. Uh, normally people don't carry the steel bars on them, but the, the way that I see it is it's like, okay, I could have four more planks on me at all times, or I could stop myself from having to bank every single time I get a steel bar thing in Lumbridge. So I think this is worth it. Um, and still, I'm essentially carrying, you know, 58 plus uh, 12 planks on me at once of so 70 instead of 74. It's not a big difference uh, at the end of the day. So, yeah, that's kind of what the preset looks like. Hopefully that is uh, useful. Oh, and what I meant by the only lodestone you should be using as Lumbridge is because I do just like to teleport to Wars Retreat to get to Draenor. You can just right-click on the portal and exit here. Uh, and it is, it's essentially the same speed. Um, if anything, it might be a little bit faster uh, if, if you're really uh, quick on the, uh, you know, right click and uh, exit to drain or, uh, you know, trigger pull, um, given how long the animation is for uh, normal lodestones. Yeah, so I had a pretty busy day. I wasn't able to do a ton of skilling up to this point. You see, it's it's like 50 minutes away from uh, the hour and I or from reset hour, and uh, yeah, I only have about 56% of my wise bonus used. Uh, so it's been, yeah, pretty slow day. Um, but construction is really fast, so definitely worth using up uh, that uh, wise buff. And at least I'll get it up to like the 70% mark, so it won't be totally wasted for yesterday. Oh, one other useful tip I have is that, uh, well, it's not really relevant if you have the Elite Varrock Diaries done, uh, because then you can toggle your Varrock Tilly to go straight to the church, uh, which is right across the street from the estate agent. Uh, also not relevant if you have the full outfit done and can go straight to an estate agent. Uh, but if you are just telling to Varrock Square like I do, then if you click on the tile, uh, not immediately at the wall here, but the one beside it, uh, along this diagonal, you can bladed dive and then surge straight through that building, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, it does speed up that quite a bit. Uh, so if you get that click perfect every single time, uh, it makes traveling to the estate agent basically the same speed as it would be if you were just telling to this altar, I think. 
Oh, and something else to note, of course, is that uh, if you don't get your whole wise buff, but you do want to inch, you know, just a little bit more out of it, if you don't log out after daily reset, it still counts towards the existing one, and it doesn't roll over into the next days, uh, at least as far as I'm aware. Uh, it kind of sits there like um, like something like Nimi Forest, where it doesn't reset until you actually re-log. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to uh, keep taking advantage of this for a little bit. I think the goal that I have in mind is to knock out 98 construction before monthly reset. Uh, that way I'll get the most amount of construction XP that I can out of the God statue monthly. Uh, and then of course I'll get it again after reset. And I don't expect I'll actually make it to a monthly reset after that. Uh, that's like 40 something days away. So I think I might be done before then. Uh, so assuming that will be the case, uh, then I'll get as much XP as I can out of it, and I'm, I'm free to finish construction after, uh, you know, right after monthly reset. Yeah, look, I mean, they just keep flowing in. That is what, Matic number eight, I think. Yeah, you know, no complaining. No complaining. That is, that is just bond money. It's nice. Wow, on to day 118, starting the day off by checking my trapper, and there is another green dragon. What? Okay. Um, female. Right? Female is what I need, I think. Let me just check beforehand so I don't get overly hyped for something that might be wrong. Let us check. All right. Scorch the male. Hopefully we can get you a mate. Oh, let's go, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, farming XP problems solved. Uh, wow. That's incredible. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you feed them beef, and, um, yeah, I don't even know, I don't know the optimal way to set these up. I don't know if you just throw them in the breeding pen, or you just throw them in a large pen. I'll have to, I'll have to do some research, I guess. All right, I think the way that we set these up is we put them in the breeding pen, uh, and then we set up a farmhand to, like, collect what they breed out, and then we put those into the, uh, into the large pens. I think that's the way that this is supposed to go. Um, I've never dealt with these farmhands before, so I have to unlock them. Uh, but let me see. One should be for the breeding pen, right? Or just right here. Collector for the breeding pen. Collect converts and stores them into unchecked versions. Okay, I think this is the one. Just go ahead and unlock that. And uh, yeah, make sure that's set up. And we are down to the last inventory of Beltfish. It has been a long journey. Uh, something I actually had to do as well. Um, I think I started using these around like 96 or 97 cooking. Um, I had to switch my gauntlets over to cooking gauntlets from smelting ones uh, because I was burning a few. I think the first inventory I did, I burnt like three of them. Uh, but anyway, that's all of these souls, catfish, and beltfish done. And the final stacks, 16,890. 13, 852, and 14, 395. Now, Bellfish are actually not that bad um, compared to something like Sharks. I know it's an extra 350 healing per food, um, but depending on what you're doing, you know, a lot of the time you don't need a ton of food uh, if you get really good at P PVM. So, Bellfish will be used a fair bit, uh, and Desert Souls, again, are just mostly for Slayer. Uh, same with Catfish. So, uh, those will get used, I'm sure, at some point, maybe. Uh, I do have some other some other fish that I can cook. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go through these sharks um, just to go ahead and get the XP out of them. But I think I can't burn them. Um, so yeah, I might just go ahead and burn through, uh, you know, some of these that are that are useful. Um, I don't know if I'll ever eat manta rays. So I think I'll just hold on to those for BGH, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I can go ahead and cook up these sharks, the, uh, the great white sharks as well. And we'll see where we are. Well, there's no real need to check where we are because I know exactly where we are turns out we had just enough banked to pick this up there it is 99 in the cooking skill i can finally stop burning karambwan <laughs> what what oh that's that's incredible uh okay that's a that's another one down uh is that is that number 14 wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 14 skills. So we are halfway there, right? Technically, you know, 92 out of 99 now. Uh, no, we have 14 of the 28 skills totally maxed now. Um, nice. 
yeah, we can go pick up another cape. All right, hello, head chef. It's time for me to become the head chef. Let us give you the money that I have and put on the cooking cape. Very fitting for the rest of our outfit, right? We're walking around looking like a true chef in here. Collected even more flexible and tensile parts. And um, yeah, I don't think we're going to run out anytime soon. It's almost 29,000. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make a spring cleaner at some point and like make all the springs that I think I'll ever need with those. <laughs> On today, 119. Haven't done a ton. Basically took uh, the day off up until now, at least. But there's level 96 Hunter picked up on a roar. So big game Hunter, Pavasaurus Rex unlocked. So that's the last uh, BGH animal. And now we can do full hours of the T3 dinos, uh, at least whenever I have, uh, you know, as long as I have meat available. Ha ha ha, another, another Matic. Yeah, on on another double hunt. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't on the second kill. It was on the first one. So, uh, you know, maybe maybe back to back. Ah, uh, no, back to back. Unfortunate. So it looks like I only have four or five hours of hunter left to do with T three dinos. Uh, as long as I can do it all on roar, and yeah, I'm gonna be able to get that done with just the uh, T three meat that I have available. Hopefully, I can get some other rare drops uh before i'm done with it though that would be uh that'd be nice another nice level coming in here that's 98 wood cutting so just one level to go of course it's always the longest level but uh you know 1.2 million exp should be done in about uh two more weeks of doing this daily uh, maybe just a little bit longer so yeah we're on track to get that 99 done pretty soon after I'm done with wood cutting, uh, I'm not actually sure what it's worth using my, uh, you know, daily uh, gathering uh, divine location limit. Uh, not sure what it's worth using that on. So probably herb lore, uh, gathering like herb patch ones is probably the way to go. Um, but I'm not I'm not sure yet. It might be worth doing some fishing, uh, maybe some mining to gather. Uh, I don't know some anemica, even though it's only like twenty ore a day or something like that. At least it's pretty quick. Start of day 120, and I get spooned yet again. Um, yeah, so adult dragons have a uh, special poop, which means that you can get uh, dragon manure, which is good for, like, ultra compost equivalent. Um, I, I think it might actually be called ultra compost, I'm not sure. But I got the, the rubber duck, which gives me a title. Uh, the, the totally quackers. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's cool. That's a one in 10,000 from scooping any, any poop. So, uh, quite rare. I guess I'll just hold on to that in the bank or something. <laughs> Starting off day 121 by finally picking up 94 fishing and unlocking fishing frenzy. So this is my plan for finishing the fishing grind is to do it all at fishing frenzy. Um, everything that I've ever read about Fishing Frenzy, you know, references how miserable it makes you feel. Uh, so I'm very, uh, very much looking forward to grinding this for, I, I don't actually know, um, like 10 to 15 hours. I, I don't know what the rate I should be expecting is. I just know it's the best XP I can really get. So I think that's, that's what we gotta do. Saw Amlod Hour pop up and I just... I felt like burning through some summoning, so there we go. There's level 90 summoning. Only two skills, or three skills, yeah, three skills left in the 80s, which are construction, runecrafting, and agility, and construction is coming up quite quickly. And I just did a little bit of math. It looks like I have around a thousand more blue charms needed to get all the way to the 96 mark, where I can switch over to using uh, crimson charms, so... Uh, yeah, we might be able to get there just off of the triple charm drop tickets. Um, today is weekly reset, and I just picked up my familiarization ticket a little bit earlier. Oh, I also burned through last week's, uh, so I have that available. And then there should be at least uh, three or four more hours of this um, that I'll be able to do. So I think that should take care of my summoning uh, with blue charms, and then I'll have plenty of crimson stack to burn the rest of the way to 99. On today, 122... 
It's been two or three days now, and my dragons have finally reached adult, so I'm going to see what kind of XP they offer. I've, uh, <laughs> I haven't been looking at the wiki specifically because I want to kind of surprise myself. Uh, 56,000 <laughs> for adult, uh, and I will definitely be breeding these boys to elder. Wow, that, that is nice. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'm just waiting for them to start uh, providing babies, and then I will be taking my uh, my cows out of these large pens over time and filling them up with dragon babies, hopefully. And there we have it. Wasn't expecting it there, but there is level 90 construction picked up. One more ports adventurer down. I think, weirdly enough, the two skills that I have left in the 80s are both also Ports Adventurers, uh, but those will be my last two. Um, steadily still working on this construction grind. Goal is still 98 before monthly reset. If I just get close to that, I'll be happy. <laughs> this, uh, this contract, it's, uh, it's pew pew pew, like, uh, you know, some guns going off in Star Wars. You got... <laughs> Got some stormtroopers off in the background, uh, you know, firing their, firing their weaponry. You've heard of Elf on a Shelf, but have you heard of Shelf on a Shelf on a Shelf on a Shelf? First hunt of the day, and yeah, yet, yet another Matic. Okay, I'm I'm so sorry for everyone that goes dry on this. <laughs> Up ninety construction. That means that I could upgrade to uh, the tier three player lodge here. And the nice thing about this is you get the skill cape stand. So uh, I'm going to go throw the invention cape on this to try and save some charge. Um, I know a lot of people have different opinions on what goes on here. Uh, but for me, definitely right now, I just want to reduce charge drain, kind of save some time there. Um, even though I probably won't need to collect energy again, just in case I do, I, uh, I want that perk. On today, 123. And we just hit a nice little construction contract milestone. Yes, we can finally pick up the full outfit and start using this. So that's going to be a nice little increase to our XP rates. Really, really looking forward to uh, to actually finishing this up. Uh, given that I only have about 60 more contracts to go to get the last plank box upgrade. And then, and then we're done. We'll get a little achievement and everything. Um, yeah, I'll probably pick that up on the way to 98. And it is finally that time again to burn through our penguin points. Yeah, I've had them saved up and I've got a certain goal in mind that means that I want to get through these. So I'm just going to be tossing all of this into Herblore and seeing how far it will carry us. Let's go. All right, there we have level 98 Herblore. Yeah, I did just a little bit of grinding, got up to 97 before this to kind of bump up how much XP we get per lamp. But... There's 98 down. Let's dump these last 10. And there we have it. We are just about 500,000 left to go till 99. So I'm going to consider the skill done for now. Uh, I think that Herbie Werby is going to carry us the rest of the way all on its own. And, you know, there are a few more uh, herbal or supplies in the bank that I can use up. So it's only 98, but I'm going to consider it 99 now. And there's another 98 skill picked up, 98 Hunter, finally. Very sick. Two more Maddox picked up on a double hunt. Yeah, that, that value is really just rolling in. I was actually just reading a post about someone who got their first Maddox and like 150 kills or something. And they haven't gotten their second one like 750 kills in. And I'm, I'm up to like 17 or something <laughs> insane. And we got a literal back-to-back. -back. <laughs> how, how insane. Was closing in on a milestone, so I thought I'd vary up my skilling a little bit tonight. Picked up level 95 mining just a little bit ago. And here we have level 90 crafting. Nice thing about these two things is, well, that is the 2700 total level milestone. And with that being said, that is the end of the video. I gotta pump this out for everybody. Picked up a 99 in this one, planning to pick up one or two or maybe three more in the next one. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. And I'll uh, see y'all there.